welcome back to my channel my name is may also known as mrs leva here on youtube and i usually tend to create a lot of fashion luxury a little bit of travel videos however today i have more of an informative type of video i recently went with my husband to paris and istanbul and we definitely took our time to do some shopping in paris that had actually been a life dream of mine to just go to paris go into the stores that i love and add pieces that i had been wanting to add to my collection and purchase them there so i was more than thrilled to be able to do that especially with him by my side since he makes the shopping experience so much more funner. So since I did buy a couple of items, I wanted to make sure that I got all the information for you guys in order to be able to tell you about how you can purchase your things over in Europe and save a good amount of money depending on what you're buying. Now, if you've never heard of the VAT refund, it is basically a value added tax, like I mentioned, that is already added to the price of the item. And then you are allowed to claim a percentage of that tax back. So you're already getting a deal on the fact that the majority of the items are already cheaper. And when I talk about items, I'm talking about luxury goods. I I'm sure that you can do the VAT refund on other items that you may purchase throughout your trip in the European Union, but I am specifically dedicating this video to luxury items. So like I was saying, you definitely get a deal already on the majority of the pieces. I mean, you can save anywhere from 500 to a couple thousand dollars depending what it is that you're purchasing and obviously the price of each item. And then on top of that, you go ahead and get back a certain percentage on the piece that you bought. So for me, it's a no-brainer. I would always try to plan my big luxury purchases around my trip to Europe for that reason because you're already going to be there and if you can get an additional savings, why not? However, due to COVID, some of the items that I recently added were purchased here in the USA. But for this trip, I wanted to make sure that I took advantage and added some of those pieces that I had been wanting for a little bit and was able to get a nice chunk of savings on them. So how it worked for us is we actually did some shopping in Galleries Lafayette. It is a big department store type of building in Paris and they have a ton, a ton of brands from contemporary to high end to luxury. You know, I think anything you want, you can definitely find it there. So once we did our shopping there, we did have to go to the concierge desk. What they did was they took all of the receipts that we had from the shopping that we did and then they scanned them into one specific paper that printed and that is the paper that we were going to use in order to get the tax refund. Now in Galleries Lafayette, it is a period of three days that you do have to do your shopping before you go ahead and create that paperwork. Now, before I get started, I wanted to just go ahead and pinpoint some of the main tips that you need to know when you're going to do your shopping overseas, and that is to carry your passport with you. Some people will take a picture, but there are some stores that require you to have the physical passport. And I tell you because it happened to us, rookie mistake, but we were actually in Louis Vuitton purchasing some things. And when we went ahead and wanted to fill out the information for the tax refund, the sales associate that was helping us was asking for our passport and we said we had a picture and unfortunately she said that she could not process it without the original so she was very very nice and very helpful she actually set aside the items and told us that she would be there the next day so just to come by and see her again and we did just that but in order to avoid that because i don't know if they can actually hold items for you from one day to the other just make sure that if you are going shopping, maybe you wanted to dedicate a specific day to do so, and that way you can carry your passport with you in order to go ahead and fill out the tax refund forms. Now, just so you have an idea, this is more or less what the paper looks like, and I will get into more detail of what you do with this paper once you make it to the airport. But here you have the items that you purchased detailed, and then it also tells you what tax they charged you. In this case, it was 20% per item, but they only refund you 12% of that. So it's not that they're gonna refund you the full amount of tax, it's a percentage depending on the fashion house, depending on the items. 
For these particular luxury goods, it was a total of 12% per item. And then it does tell you below what the, that amount will be. Now, when we went to Valentino, we did purchase a pair of shoes and a belt there. I'll make sure to link my unboxing video to my Paris haul down below for you guys to check out so you can see all of the goodies that I was able to get on this trip. There, they also asked us for the passport to fill out the information. And this is what that paper looked like. So it was a little bit different than the one from Galleries Lafayette, but it more or less states the same things. You have the items detailed, how much tax they charge you, and then what they'll be able to give you back. So once you've done all your shopping and you're heading back home, on the last point of departure from the European Union is where you will go ahead and file the paperwork. So in the airport, there is a section that is labeled detaxe, I wanna say, maybe I'm butchering that but they basically have a couple of machines that you will go ahead and scan the barcode on top of each of your forms. And then they will tell you if they are approved or if they are denied. If they are approved, you are good to go. You don't have to do anything else with that form. I would recommend to just keep it for your personal records and obviously to wait it out for you to get the tax refund back. But if any of the forms are declined, then there will be a little cubicle office with an actual person available. And there they might ask you to show them the goods that you bought, or they might just go ahead and double check the paperwork and scan it for you. We had three of our forms declined when we scanned them in the machine. And then once we went up to the person that was available, they just went ahead and scanned them into their system and they said, you're good to go, goodbye, and that was that. Now for you to get the tax money back, you have two options. You have the option of having it added back to the credit card which you purchased the items with, or you have the option to getting cash back once you make it to the airport. We personally go the credit card route all the time just because you get that additional 2%. If you do choose to get cash back, it is just 10% that they will be refunding for the most part. Now the tax refund does range anywhere from about four to six weeks, but we actually got the Louis Vuitton items that we purchased back in, I wanna say two days. We were actually still traveling when we got that one back. So they can be very, very fast or they can actually take the full six weeks. So just keep that in mind once you're doing the tax refund. Another tip that I did wanna mention is once you do make it to the airport for your departure, make sure that you try to have all the goods that you purchased in your carry-on or your personal item just because if you do need to show those pieces to the person that's going to help you in case any of your forms get declined, you do have easy access to them. You will be doing the tax refund paperwork before you go through the security checkpoints into the gates of departure. So you will have all your luggage with you, but if you have it in a fast accessible place, it'll just be a smoother process overall. All right, so you're all good on the Europe side, but once the plane lands and you hit home, you do have to go through passport control and then you do have to fill out the form of declaration, I think is the name. I'll try to find a picture and pop it up for you guys, but it's basically the form that you always fill out whenever you're traveling internationally and getting back into the United States. In that form, there is a section to detail what you have purchased and the cost of each good that you have bought. Now, keep in mind, you are allowed to declare up to $800 per person. If you do go over that limit, then that is where they can charge you some sort of fee or customs import fees for bringing in those goods from another country. Regardless of the fact, you're still getting a great deal by purchasing these pieces over in Europe, but do keep in mind that they may charge you an additional import fee once you arrive to the United States. Now, once you have passed passport control, you are good to go and your goodies can be enjoyed. I really feel like if you are planning a trip abroad to consider, you know, making your purchases there, 
hold it off i promise it'll be worth it the experience is really nice once you're there and if you can save a couple of hundred bucks even into the thousands with some of these pieces why not and then you also get to bring back a very nice souvenir from the place that you visited all right so here i have some numbers for you guys so you can see how great the savings are the keep all 45 which i bought in this trip in florida would have cost me 2140 including taxes I paid 1813 after the conversion rate. This is all in USD. And from that amount, I will get 12% back, which is $217. So I ended up paying 1595 for the key pulse, saving $545. Now, if you do have any additional questions, go ahead and leave them down below for me in the comment section. Or if you have any information that you wanted to share, any story, I would love to go ahead and read about it down below. Now, thank you for taking some time out of your day to watch this video i really do hope you enjoyed it and if so please consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up as of now guys this is it so i'll catch you in my next one have a great day